Let's now look and see how epithelial cells are joined together. Well, there are three different types of junctional complexes and they have three different sorts of functions. The first junctional complex is at the very apex of the cell and they're called occluding or tight junctions. They're a barrier. They prevent material passing between the cells. It's important that the body can control what passes across or what is absorbed across the epithelial surface. And so these occluding or tight junctions prevent material passing through between cells. Now sometimes these occluding junctions can become a little bit permeable and do allow things to pass through, but that's controlled by the epithelial cells in certain locations but essentially they present themselves as a barrier. They're also a barrier to the migration of components of the cell membrane. They separate the apical border of the cell from the lateral border of the cell. And that's very important because there's molecules in the apex of the cell and on the lateral surface of the cell that have very important functions. So it's important to separate these two domains and one function of the tight junctions or the occluding junctions is to act as maintain the integrity of these two domains. Lower down in the diagram, you can see anchoring junctions. And there are two types of anchoring junctions. Some are called the zonular adherens, meaning they form a belt-like structure around the cell. The occluding junction do the same. These zonular adherens are actually attached to the actin filaments of the cytoskeleton and they link the cytoskeleton from one cell to its neighbouring cell. The other type of anchoring junction is the desmosome or macular adherens. These are little spot junctional complexes, spot welds if you like, and they attach to the intermediate filaments of the cytoskeleton of one cell and also to another cell. So these anchoring junctions link the cells together so that the epithelium acts as a cohesive unit. And the remaining type of junction is the communicating junction or a gap junction. These consist of proteins, connexons, which enable things to pass between the cells, things like anions, nutrients, and various other chemical signals. So cells can communicate with each other via these gap junctions. And that's very important for smooth muscle cells to be able to contract in a sequential manner, and also cardiac muscle to contract in a similar sequential manner. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.